Hey everybody, today I'm going to review this Groupon. It is for Microsoft Office 365 Pro Plus Lifetime. And it allows you to install an up to five devices and 100 gigabytes of storage. It is $29.99, which says it's 85% off of its $19999 price. And you can even get it cheaper with a coupon code. So it does say that uh, you get lifetime access. You can have access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, Publisher, and Access. It says no product key required. You're going to get a new Office 365 account, which means you cannot upgrade your other account um, if you have another one. Email remains fixed, but you may change your password. So it does look pretty straightforward. It says it's a direct download from the Microsoft Office site. It has all these key features of Microsoft 365, your system requirements. And if you look here at the bottom, you can see that it's sold by a company called Nerd Used versus being sold from Microsoft directly. So when you click on reviews, you can see that it's got great reviews. Everybody's saying it was easy, delivered promptly. They were able to contact support and received a response within an hour. Um, all the reviews look great. And as you can see, it says 100% verified reviews. The thing that's misleading is it's sorted by highest rated reviews and that's by default. So when you come here, you're just seeing the best reviews. What you'll see is when you change it from highest rated to say the most recent reviews, bam, there's one star reviews here. Someone here is saying they'll assign you a generic email address that you can't change. Uh, someone else saying they didn't receive their download. Uh, I think that person in particular d didn't really follow the instructions because you do receive the option to download. But it is misleading. Uh, you cannot upgrade a current account. You have to use the account they give you. And not only is it misleading, it's illegal. And I'll be going over that in, in a minute. So once you get your group on and, it get, and they send you your username and password, you're gonna to go to office.com and sign in, and it'll take you to this page. It'll tell you on this top right to click install and more. Then you click install Microsoft 365 apps. It'll take you to a page where you can download the apps. See right where it says install office. You'll click that and you'll be able to download the applications. So the Groupon is correct in where you can download the applications and use them. But the issue is that you are not having your own personal account. This is not your office subscription. You have been added as a member of their company. This means that the administrators have access to your data. If you save anything in SharePoint or OneDrive, they have access to it. Going to the SharePoint site, you can see that it is in all Chinese. This means this company that's in China, most likely, has access to anything that you save in SharePoint or into OneDrive. If you have your folders backed up into OneDrive, um, say the folders on your desktop, they'll have access to that as well. And another thing to keep in mind is if this company goes out of business or say if Microsoft catches on to what they're doing, it is against their terms of use, so they may, uh, you know, cancel their account. And in that case, you will lose your access. So going to OneDrive, if you click on My Files, you'll see I, I haven't uploaded anything. But if you have anything in here, that's what they're able to access. Um, if you set it up and you chose to back up the folders on your computer, that's going to be in here as well and that's what they can access so just beware if you do decide to keep this i've decided to not use it and i'm trying to get my money back currently from groupon 
I doubt I will be able to, but I wanted to be able to warn everybody. As you can see here, you can, you can use Word. You can use the application that you downloaded. Um, and then you can also use the browser version here. So it does work. Um, it's just, I believe it is against the terms of use of Microsoft. So technically it's illegal. You are not supposed to be selling your account. Like you have a company that, you know, you're paying for a hundred accounts or in their case, they probably have thousands. You are not to be, you should not be selling that. And that's what they're doing here. And that's the reason why they have access to your stuff because it's like a company account, a business subscription. Um, but again, it does work. So use it at your own risk. For what it's worth, I do not recommend that you buy this. So spread the word, let your friends and colleagues know. It looks like it's a good deal, but it's really not. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.